All right, well, let's start expound packs and how I feel about them personally. From what I have seen, for those of you that don't know, the bronze pack is actually new. It did not come out in other regions of the game. The bronze pack is a new addition to the founders packs um, for, for the Western release. Starting out at $14.99, you're going to get a head start of three days. Which is pretty big to be honest a head start is huge in terms of well it, it depends on how many players are gonna be on release but a head start in general is, is just a it's huge it's huge um not only that but you're also gonna get a founders exclusive pet um i'm gonna see if i can look up images of these pets maybe i can check the korean website as well so we'll pull that up let me see so if we go founders we could probably pull this up perfect okay so you're gonna get a founders exclusive pet and a 30-day crystalline aura this you guys know is probably i mean look at all the stuff on it it's not pay to win at any means the double bifrost is really good they're like curse stones they allow you to teleport the uh triport cost waiver basically not ever having to pay any silver ever for the triport is going to save you a lot of silver long term uh life energy recovery just means that your life energy for your life skilling is going to be uh recovering much faster um a daily NPC affinity interaction that comes down to the rapport system and it's not really huge Song of return cooldown being 50% cheaper. And oh my god, dude. Dobby. Thank you What a one dollar donation stronghold craft time minus 10% a lot of this is just life-saving time. It's just saving time It's nothing too crazy um, Fucking But I would say like a 30-day crystalline aura Would be like 10 15 bucks right there. So if we're looking at just the aura alone um the bronze pack is definitely worth the fifteen dollars if, if that's what you're looking to spend you get a founder's title too titles usually have a little bit of statting on them as i've noticed throughout they're nothing too major they're all pretty balanced so from what i've seen so in my opinion bronze pack 14.99 it's a deal it's it's either worth that pa it's it's either worth that amount or more and if you're looking at the head start especially for someone like me who's a hardcore gamer a three-day head start it, i'll pay 20 dollars alone just for that so bronze pack gets an approval for me the silver pack you're gonna get everything from the bronze pack and more in the silver pack you're gonna get a thousand royal crystals i know in the other regions of the game it is a one-to-one -one ratio so that alone right here you're looking at a ten dollar deal so we're already at ten dollars the three-day head start for me i told you guys is easily 20 bucks but for you guys that's something that really is a, a personal preference it's a personal thing as a content creator for sure 110 percent head starts are huge um another founder's exclusive pet which i'm going to show you guys not only are you going to get ten dollars worth of royal crystals if we have the same ratio but you're also looking at the 30-day crystalline aura and the 30-day crystalline aura in my opinion is easily 10 or 15 dollars i don't think it's necessary it's not something you're going to miss out on if you don't have it um so it's not something like super super crazy it's definitely not needed you know when it's going to be live in the alpha do you mean when is the game oh, gonna go live mm -hmm. yeah we just played beta the game's not gonna be live like launch until 2022 of quarter one yeah 2022 quarter one i didn't know that donation was still up it scared me yeah i forgot it's still up myself uh, on top of the the ten dollars of royal crystal plus the thirty day crystalline aura, which in my opinion, with the head start, the royal crystals, the exclusive pet, and the thirty day crystalline aura, you already have your money's worth out of the twenty four ninety nine package. Now we got to see what's in the silver supply crate, though. You're gonna get thirty resurrection feathers, which are good. You see, it seems like you get a good amount of them throughout playing the game as well. You're gonna get ten thousand silver. That's really nothing. Um, you come out with an adventurer's equipment crate, which is gonna let you get, you know, multiple different grenades and swiftness roads, all cool stuff. But like, I also feel like you can really earn a lot of that in game as well, very easily through questing. The gatherer's tool chest. This is all the green gathering tools. You guys know there's not really a value to that in my opinion. Now where the value probably is, is in the 20, 30, 40, and level 50 chest. Now what are in these chests we don't know. 
The level 20 adventurous chest is an additional 30,000 silver, 70 HP potions, and 100 major HP potions. The major healing potions are nice. The HP potions are pretty common, and the 30,000 silver, not much. But again, at level 30, you're going to get an additional 50,000 silver. Moving into level 40, 50,000 silver. And you also get the elemental HP potions. You get 30 of those. That's pretty big. In the 40 chest and then in the level 50 chest you're gonna come out with an offensive battle item chest just one a healing battle item chest and a utility battle item chest uh which a lot of these rewards these chests i expect to be the rewards for the uh the daily login as well and then you're gonna get 100 super healing potions which are pretty common in the late game and 30 shining elemental so in my opinion these chests don't really have much of a value to them because a lot of this is super easy to, to achieve in game, which is good though. That being said, the silver and not as big of a bang as say like the bronze. I'm not a big fan of the silver package. Do I think it's worth $25? Yes. Um, but it might be better to get a gold or a platinum package. The gold package right off the bat you're looking at four thousand royal crystals i think that's going to be about forty dollars usd that's already 40 out of the out of the 49.99 that it costs you on top of that you're going to get the gold supply crate which seems to have a lot of the same things that the silver has but also maybe a little bit extra in it um now this is where it comes down to the founder's exclusive avatar and the founder's exclusive pet and how much you're going to value that but you also get character expansion slot that being said i believe right now you get access to six current characters that you can create so this is like seven plus um i don't know what the price of those are going to be but they are nice to have whether or not it's worth you know it's worth in the 50 dollar package i would say i mean you're looking at 40 dollars of the royal crystals you're easily looking at the head start now the founder's exclusive pet this is what we're looking at you have to choose between one um i really really like the the orange cat i do like that it's a cat because it's not typically something that you'll see a lot of games go with but they added their own flair to it so you got to think a full in-game class experience to test at least five bucks yeah i agree i agree but yeah so i do like the look of the pets this is the founder exclusive pet there is an auction house in the game and i do believe i don't i don't think that the pets are well i don't know i know in other versions of the game that you can trade the uh you can trade a lot of the founder stuff on the auction house and buy it for gold i don't know if they're gonna do that with the pets we'll have to see if it remains the same um, when it comes down to the founder's exclusive avatar, I believe this is for one class only Yeah, so it's available for the first advanced class that you select in game um, So these are Founders exclusive it kind of looks more like the shoeshire area esque of armor And this is what they the avatars look like and it's only gonna be for one Character that you make you're not gonna get it on all of your characters I do believe you'll be able to like choose which character you want it on and which class you want it for um, But yeah, it's it's only gonna be for one Easily cosmetics and games nowadays, especially exclusive ones can go for ten to twenty dollars um, I would say 100% the gold package of the game is worth it just based off of the royal crystals alone 4,000 royal crystals if they are a one-to-one -one ratio like in other versions of the game You're looking at forty dollars of royal crystals there. I think that's pretty fucking solid now let's get down to the real business all right the platinum the 100 dollar the biggest deal in the game in my opinion you're gonna get 7,000 royal crystals you're gonna get everything the other packs have given to you and a little bit more we have a platinum supply crate which honestly has way more in it than the other supply crates did the level 30 crate the level 20 crate and the level 40 crate remain the same but the level 50 crate 300 000 silver while very easily obtainable that's a pretty big boost to your silver stack the 10 daily unas tasks instant completion tasks you can only do three dailies per character a day so this allows you if you've already completed your daily one time this allows you to instantly complete that daily again like an, on another day which just means less work for you to have to do 10 of them that's pretty decent value i don't know what i would value those at maybe like 10 of them being like i don't i can't see them being too expensive a couple bucks at most 
You're going to get 10 offensive battle item chests, 10 healing battle item chests, 10 utility battle item chests, and then you're going to get these five stronghold activity relief chests, which seems to be things to boost research, dispatch, and crafting speeds in the stronghold. This is huge because the stronghold has a method where everything takes real time, and over that real time, if you choose, you can speed it up using crystals, the blue crystals. While achievable in game, it can get very expensive and I'm not sure I would recommend using your blue crystals to upgrade your stronghold stuff quicker. And, and the early game of the stronghold has long timers on it. I already saw some stuff taking two days uh, as the timer. So these five stronghold activity relief chests, in my opinion, are gonna be extremely worth it, especially when it comes to long-term of the game with the stronghold. 150 awakening chaos pieces nothing crazy you can easily buy that from a vendor for pretty cheap silver i think they're like 100 to 200 silver each from what i saw um so that really isn't any value at all and that breaks down the um that breaks down the platinum chests that we see from the 20 30 40 and 50 the 50 being the big difference versus the other packages of the game Founders exclusive avatar, which we were just looking at, we'll show that again. Obviously, with the platinum package, you're also going to get access to the founders exclusive pet, which is what these are right here. And moving down, you're going to get more character expansion slots, the same as the last one. So I think it's just one extra character that's going to be character number seven. You get a founders avatar which is apparently different. This is exclusive to just the platinum pack. All right, let me see if we can see what that looks like. Here are the platinum avatars. This is class based and is available to the first advanced class you select. This is what they look like. This looks like your demon blade, your shadow hunter. You've got your artillerist, your, I believe the sharpshooter. You've got your dead eye right here. And this is your gunslinger. You have your bard and your summoner. We're looking at the striker, the, the, the guys between the three, there's a soul fist, the blade dancer, or the, I think it's a war dancer and um, the other one. One of them's the, the vibe the other one. character. I don't remember all of them. I mean, there's so many classes. I don't remember all of them. <laughs> um, so those are your martial arts classes, obviously. And then you have your warrior classes here. You've got your, your, your berserker. You've got your, I don't know, I think this bot, this back one here is the Gun Lancer, and in the middle, I believe, is the um, the Paladin. I could mix up. This could be the Paladin, and this one right here could be the, the Berserker. Paladin's but, on the left. Yeah, okay, so that's that's right. So this is the Paladin, Paladin and then you've got the your one. Berserker, and then you've got your, your Gun Lancer, which has the shield, your big tank. These are the exclusive um, avatars to the Platinum Pack, I believe. Yes, these are the exclusive platinum. So if you buy the platinum pack, you're getting a very exclusive skin for your class. These skins look very good. Easily, I could say in any game, these are $15 skins minimum right there. Minimum $15 skins. On top of that, on top of getting the exclusive pet, the $70 in royal crystals, the exclusive chests, and the exclusive founder's avatar, as well as the founder's platinum avatar, you're also looking at a founder's exclusive mount for the platinum tier, which looks like such. You get to choose between one of them. I think it's a really cool fucking mount. Easily, I could see people on World of Warcraft paying $20 for a mount like this. That being said, um, the Platinum Pack is definitely more than a $100 value. I want this red one right here. You guys already know me, man. I want that red one right there. It looks fucking beautiful. 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 And then you're going to get a Platinum Welcome Crate, which comes with the Founders exclusive wallpaper, which is the background for your login screen. Comes with the Founders exclusive structure for your stronghold comes with the legendary rapport gift selection chest which it's cool it's good it's not crazy value you can it seems like you're going to be able to get a lot of them through the daily login rewards as well as through playing the game and working the card system and working the rapport system uh, but it is a boost and then you're also going to get a launch limited card pack special card pack for platinum founders pack now if these are if these are epic or legendary cards those are pretty high value i would say epic like legendary cards were pretty rare we only came across a couple in the 100 hours or so that we played of the na beta um we don't know we don't know what this is gonna look like 
at all. It honestly, I think the best bang for your buck is either going to be the bronze package for sure. I don't, I don't really, I'm not a big fan of the silver package. While I think the silver package is worth $24.99, I don't feel like you're getting more. I feel like it's perfectly aligned for $24.99. The bronze package, I feel like you're getting more. $15, you're getting a three-day head start and an exclusive pet and the 30-day crystalline aura, which would probably be like five to 10 bucks on its own. Easily, the bronze has way more bang for what you're paying. The gold package is a solid package, but between the bronze and the platinum, I think are the two best packages that we're looking at here. I personally am gonna go with the platinum package. I think the platinum, but like, you know, for me, I value things a little bit differently. My head start, I really enjoy the three days early access. Um, the exclusive mount, I like stuff like that. I'm a big fan of, uh, of mounts and, and cosmetics. And with everything that you're getting easily being worth more than $100, I think the platinum package truly is, for me, the best package in the game. Um, that being said, I've definitely justified why I'm going to go with the hundred dollar package. What up BMS? Uh, but yeah, I like that one a lot. Now I do believe, so this looks like the locomotive structure. This is the structure that you're going to get inside the stronghold. Cool. Not crazy. If you're into that sort of thing. Awesome. Um, not too much value for me personally. The login screen looks fucking sick. I do like it. It doesn't add a whole lot to the game. It's just your login screen and where your characters are going to be sitting probably on this bench or standing. Um, not a lot of value there, but very cool. And that seems to be all. That seems to be all of the exclusive stuff. 